Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. So this week we are going, we are going to talk about the WAF detection. Uh, so last video, if you if you notice from our playlist, uh, we talked about like you know how to manually detect if the remote service or, or website is running behind the WAF, and if so, what kind of WAF that is. We saw different techniques like uh, observing the response codes and and sending some payloads. Or maybe observing the like you know response itself and 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 like you know the blocking connection close out etc right so we, we saw all those techniques in the last uh, in the last video and now this week what I'm going to teach you is let's say uh, uh, the first step is we want to save as much time as possible during the penetration testing and, and focus our time more on the manual testing so rather than using those manual techniques uh, of finding out what the WAF is running, uh, it's it's might be sometime possible that you can just use like automation tools, which we are going to uh, see today, to detect if the remote service is running behind the WAF. And then previously we also saw that it is possible to bypass the WAF. If you haven't seen those videos, uh, do check that out the the WAF bypass uh, playlist, uh, so you can see all the entire all the sections and and all the techniques. But yeah, so essentially, once you identify which WAF is running, you can customize your payload, and once you have a payload customized, you can use that payload to bypass the WAF. Now, uh, uh, of course, you you can obviously enumerate that using the manual testing, but uh, I would highly suggest, like you know, first try using the automation tool, and if the tool fails, then you can try and explore if the uh, with the manual testing, like what kind of app uh, is running behind the website. So how, how, like you know, the first tool I'm going to I'm going I want to uh, maybe encourage uh, you all to use is the WAF of. So what this does is. Uh, sends the normal HTTP request and analyze the response and this identifies number of WAF solutions. If this is not successful, it sends number of potential malicious HTTP requests which we usually do during the manual testing as well and uses simple logic to de deduce which WAF it is. If that is also not successful, it analyzes the response previously returned and uses another simple algorithm to guess if WAF a security solution is actively responding to our attacks. So that's that's a th simple three steps which this tool is essentially using to determine if the remote service is using a WAF. Uh, running and installing this is very simple. It's a Python uh, written in Python, so you can probably install in the Kali or you can have it on on your Windows as well, uh, as long as you have this uh, like you know uh, Python installed. Uh, also, running this tool uh, is also very simple. Uh, but before we do that, uh, look at the list of WAF that it supports. It's it's quite uh, like you know um, elaborative. So uh, it supports pretty much all kind of WAF. Uh, so it becomes very uh, easy for us to first like you know that's the information gathering phase of the pen test to find out which WAF is running. So and how do you uh, run this? It's simple. Uh, you just put the name of the tool and then put the website which you want to test, and then it will say like you know whether this website is running the WAF or not, and if it is, uh, what kind of WAF that is. So that's the uh, first tool I want to endorse. Uh, the second tool which we have all used uh, a long, long time ago, and also like you know a lot during the network pen test, uh, Nmap. Uh, so Nmap has this script called HTTP WAF fingerprint. Uh, so as the name implies, this tries to detect the presence of a WAF application firewall, its type and its version. This works by sending number of requests and looking in the response for known behavior and fingerprints such as server headers, cookies and header values. Intensive mode works by sending additional WAF specific requests to detect certain behavior. Right, and it's essentially I think using uh, WAF uh, and W3AF for some fingerprints as well. So it's somewhat like you know connected with the uh, with the WAF -oof, but yeah, it's another probably if you are using NMAF for discovering the ports and services on the on the remote system, might as well just use this uh, script to detect which WAF is running. Running uh, this particular script is also pretty straightforward. You just put the NMAP. Uh, then script uh, put the name of the uh, script you want to run and the determine the target and this is one is if you want to run the intensive uh, scan uh, or enumeration and and here is how you, you are going to this is standard nmap results so this is where you are going to see if the WAF is detected or not and if so which version and, and what's the type of the WAF or the manufacturer 
so this is these are the two tools mostly I, I would like you know probably should cover all the 90 percent of the cases if there are edge cases which uh, for example none of this tool is able to uh, cover maybe you can use w3f but again uh, then in that case i would i would highly rely on the manual testing and all the techniques we have seen in the previous video so in the description i'm going to uh, link the previous uh, video that we have seen uh, for the manual exploration i'm also going to link these two tools that uh, we have seen today and if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop me in the comment section and let me know what kind of videos you want to uh, look into or, or you want me to explore so i can i can uh, stick to those topics uh, thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys next monday bye